Now let's head to Tunisia, where regional and Western partners have promised the country about $8 billion in aid and loans over the next four years. Now this will bring some respite for the economy, which has struggled to attract investment and create jobs since the 2011 unrest. Now the funding was announced at a two-day investment conference in Tunis. Now the African Development Bank has added the latest pledge, announcing that it would lend Tunisia between 1.5 and 2 billion euros over the next five years. The European Investment Bank has said it would lend Tunisia a total of 2.9 billion euros by 2020. The Arab Fund, on the other hand, for economic and social development, has committed to $1.5 billion in soft loans over the same period. Saudi Arabia has pledged $800 million, while Italy is extending 560 million euros in loans and aid. Kuwait has offered $500 million, while Turkey will give Tunisia's central bank $100 million zero-interest loans. We brought 44 private projects in this conference. The total investment amount is 67,000 million dinars. There are 142 projects, among them public sector, private sector, and public and private sector partnerships. That's a key point that we started the conference with. In order to contribute to the further development of the country, which means also to stabilize uh, the situation here, and our understanding is and our uh, conviction is also that this is only possible if there's an economic development.